what you guys got another video here for you now if you want to run a stability test on your computer because you're having issues maybe overheating or maybe you want to test the stability of that system or maybe uh, you've got some sort of issue and you want to test something well stability testing is a good way to find out what's going on with your system and also you can test a load of temperatures and also if you get a crash in straight after you've done a stability test you know something's not right normally if it's a graphics card issue or a CPU you can actually push that a little bit just to see whether it falls over and then crashes so let's take a look at a piece of software that I've used for quite a long time and it's pretty decent it's called AIDA64 engineer this is the engineer version and uh, when you look inside here it's going to give you a load of useful information so we, as you can see here we've got uh, the motherboard area here so if I wanted to get information about the motherboard I could click on this and it will let me uh, check out whatever area I want the chipset the BIOS any areas here memory so if I did memory it will just give me the memory section and it will give me the virtual memory total used total and total free utilization 9% and so on so it gives you quite a lot of useful information if I went back and then went straight into the motherboard section it will load up the motherboard area like so and give you more information about that motherboard so we can see now we have the motherboard model number and the ID number also the the bus type which is DDR4 there you can see and so on so you go right away through here even gives you some handy handy links to click on to take you straight to them uh, websites to download the BIOS and product information for that area so you see quite useful now again chipset you can click on the chipset it'll tell you what chipset you're using on here gives you loads of information and again you can just go through here storage devices Windows devices this will open up the device uh, manager inside here so you don't have to keep searching for it on uh, Windows and you can click on unknown and stuff like that and find out what's going on with your system if you've got issues uh, with the drivers and stuff like that so you can uh, test quite a lot of stuff uh, with this software licenses and stuff I'm not going to click on that because it will show you all my licenses uh, but it will uh, detect licenses installed programs as you can see here it's loading all those up pretty cool stuff and again if you wanted to you can remove those from here so it gives you loads of uh, ability to do stuff so the security thing so Windows security gives you the Windows security and again let's go back into security here antivirus firewall anti spyware and so on Windows update and uh, we're going to move on to the benchmark part because that's what I wanted to make on this video so we was talking about a uh, benchmark here we was talking about this area but if you come up to tools here they have a load of a uh, areas here that you can click on and this system stability test is pretty good and uh, what you can do here is put ticks into the area where you're having issues so if it's the GPU you can stress the GPU and just take out the CPU if you wanted to or you can do the CPU and the GPU together or you can just leave it as CPU so if you think you've got a problem with your CPU or something's uh, not right or maybe you've done an overclock or something like that and you want to test the overclock on it you can test it with this piece of software and you can run a stress test of that CPU and use the FPU as well to get the true bearings of what that overclocks like and whether it's going to crash or whether it's stable or not and of course you've got the area down here like temperatures cooling fans what they're doing what revs per minute they're spinning at also the voltages that's going through the system at that particular time the power also clocks and statistics right down here and it gives you all the information about what's going on to show you what the voltages are and stuff like that on the CPU so you can see so let's go ahead and uh, start that off now if I start this by running the stress test on the CPU and FPU here you can see straight away it's gone to 100% and you'll start to see if I show you this uh, window here it will start to climb you can see it climbing the temperature starting to climb and that's because we've now put the system into stress mode 
and we're starting to push that CPU up. You can see we're on 100% load here and you'll see these temperatures starting to climb to an area where it will sort of uh, plateau out a little bit. And if we look on the graph on the actual program you can now see the graph is showing you it's now gone up to 100% and the temperature is starting to climb. And again what you can do is you can look at the statistics here and it gives you the temperatures on the motherboard, the CPU and you can see the temperature on the CPU here, minimum, maximum. It gives you an old idea of what's going on with the system. So it's a really powerful piece of software uh, for stress testing your CPU. You can even uh, get information uh, using this area here, which is nice about the CPU itself. It gives you all the information on the CPU. So you don't have to download multiple programs. This program does it all. It's got loads of good information on here, especially for overclockers or for people that are diagnosing an issue uh, with their system. So as you can see here, let me just quickly show you, we've now sort of plateaued at 60 so far. And that's probably where it's gonna stay. And we're under full load. Now, if you had issues with your system at that particular time, it would probably start to crash or become unstable. And that's because you're having an issue. Uh, so let me just stop this here. You can save and clear all the information here. So I'm gonna stop that. And this will now start to drop right back down as you can see here start to go back down and this is a water, uh, water cooled so it'll start to cool down the liquid will start to cool and it will start to drop so there's your uh, stability test now it's not a free program but if you're into this sort of stuff then this program is essential for uh, that sort of uh, information you can see here we've got a language you can do quite a lot in this area so environment you can access the environment area control panel pretty much you can see event logs so if you're having an issue with windows you can come in here and uh, diagnose issues with your event logs so if i wanted to i can open this up straight from here and it will give me information about what's going on uh, with the system. So you can see this red one here. Very useful uh, piece of kit, especially if you're a tech, very useful. And we also got uh, all this area here, inputs, printers. It gives you quite a lot of information, the DirectX area. So here, Quite an in-depth uh, piece of kit, this uh, software. And again, you can go straight into here. Services, it'll open up a list of your services. You can see the ones I've disabled and stuff and stopped. Very powerful. So this is just a quick short video on uh, AIDA64 Engineer. I just want to give you an idea here and uh, system drivers as well. So if you wanted to, uh, you could get a full report as well. Get a report of something if you had an issue. You can check certificates from here as well. Loads and loads of information. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. That's basically how you can uh, check the performance of your system and also check uh, stability of your computer and also check other bits and pieces like uh, temperatures and stuff like that on your computer using this piece of software. I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video useful, guys. Have a great day. Bye for now.